day three already. We're almost halfway there. Got about a week or so on the road, heading down through Oregon, just seeing where the road takes us. Just taking a walk down this path, all covered in cotton. Looks like the tree's probably spilling a bunch of it. It's only about 6.30. Um, and Nika, of course, is uh, still asleep. Get her up in a while. We're not in a rush. We're not in a rush because we're not going as far in a day as we did with our last 30-day trip. We're taking it actually quite easy. Morning. Windy today. Wind picked up. Yeah. Some coffee for me? There is some coffee for you. Here's a little. <laughs> you need me to open it? Come on out then. <laughs> it is now, yeah, it wasn't before. Yeah. And look at this, look at this landscape we're going to be driving through. I think it's going to be gorgeous today. Half a pineapple for me and the for breakfast, gotta like tenderize it a little bit. <laughs> it's like not jerky, but there's, there's a real half a pineapple in there. Isn't that something? Isn't that something, eh? <laughs> you actually have to start worrying about gas in Eastern Oregon. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we've ever really worried about gas in Washington. No. It really feels like wild horse country, real west, the wild west yeah. kind of. Not pushing so hard this time around. It's been nice. Yeah. A couple hours a day. Get some food, have a little sleep, don't have to leave first thing in the morning. The base layer, the midway, is a touch light for spring. I think if I was going to choose again, I would choose the like one tier heavier. What we have is 250, one tier above that I think would have been perfect because when you're wearing it all day in the wind and then sleeping in it, it's just gotta be like pretty warm. These are the sleeping bags that allow this to all happen. The X53, I think. Maybe used for an emergency water bucket. Whoa. That's cool. You need a good bag to sleep in all, uh, all the cold weather. The X53. My papa served in the Navy and he got us this bag, so. Thanks, Papa. All right, so in this uh, Filson dry bag, we have all of our clothes. Uh, as far as clothes go, you can imagine what those are. Got a fuel buddy because uh, gas stations can be spaced out in Oregon, just in case. Always good to have some extra gas. In this little green bag, we have a little green box that has uh, toiletries in it, like uh, toothbrush and things you might want. Just easy, easily accessible on the road. Sleeping bag, of course. Water bottle. Tent. Sleeping mat. Another Filson dry bag with the uh, electronics. Rain gear in a, another dry bag. It doesn't need a dry bag, but it's the best way to keep the arms and the legs from uh, getting caught in a spoke or something like that. Two hours, 13 minutes. Down to Terrebonne, near Redmond. Right on. Good. Let's do it. I'm ready.
You look like a real adventure. Your whole setup looks like a, the adventurer's kit. I love it. to cancel. There's no way this shouldn't have been booked already. Let's check it out. Oh, this is going to be so cozy tonight. Oh man, this is actually awesome. I'm pretty sure this is an AC. That's amazing. Fridge. Oh, they have coffee here even for us. That's nice. Wow, let's check out the shower house. This is the shower house. Set up. Holy, this is awesome. This rack we got last minute, this rack that everything's sitting on, just couldn't have, couldn't have worked out better. I don't know how we would carry food with us otherwise. Hey buddy. Good boy. I wonder what that means. Mm, too. Oh my goodness. Provolone. Big bag of turkey. <laughs> a little overestimation. Yeah, but that's my look bad. at that. Can you have enough though? <laughs> Looks pretty good. Some blueberries on it. Mm. I'm excited. <laughs> mm. Blueberry, blackened turkey, and provolone cheese. Actually, a very good combination. Like you'd find it in a wild place, like a medieval restaurant where there's like pheasant and brie, very pilgrim core. <laughs> it's kind of in the ballpark of like a fig jam, cran and turkey. It's a mm. classic pairing. Quite nice.
Oregon's so underrated. I always want to move. That's funny. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I've moved around a lot in my life, but no, no, no. It's actually just. I thought Washington was beautiful, and it is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> but Oregon. It's nice. It is so nice.